Hello everybody, welcome to Zero to Hero in Arabic course. This is actually one of the best Arabic course that you can possibly get. But today, in this lesson, lesson 10, we're going to touch on many things. We're going to have conversation about asking time and how actually people ask what time is it in Arabic. And we're going to have some vocabulary, words of lesson, how to read the clock, how to count the numbers in Arabic. And days of week and awiya and ma and at the end of this video we're gonna have some expressions, some practical expression. Okay, let's get started. Nibelish Torres al Hawar Bien Ibtisam Wumad Fil Fundok. We begin lesson ten with this conversation. First of all, I just read this conversation without any explanation and translation. Then we're gonna have some translation and explanation. العفو بيش الساعة الساعة تسعة بالساعة في ثمانية إلا ربع لازم ساعة تشخربانة صحيح قل لي تعرف مسلح ساعات زين اكو محل ساعات بالفندق ساعة يخربانة وتحتاج تصلح العفو basically means excuse me to be more polite and respectful in your dialogue you can use this when you want Ask the question. Al Afu. Bish Sa'a. Bish Sa'a basically means what time is it? But it has two different meanings. It depends on your situation and context. If you are in a store or shop, when you say Bish Sa'a, it basically means how much does it cost? How much is the price of this watch? Okay? But when you are in a street, when you ask someone Bish Sa'a, basically means what time is it okay then it depends on your situation where and when you want to ask this question Sa'a means a clock and tisa means nine it's nine o'clock this means but Sa'ati. Sa'ati means my watch. Ithmania illa ruba. It's a quarter to eight. Ithmania means eight. Illa ruba means illa means except. Except. When you say ithmania illa ruba, it basically means it's a quarter to eight. Or seven forty five minutes. Okay. Lazim sa'ati chkarbane. لازم ساعة تشخربانة. Your watch must be broken. لازم means must or necessary or have to. لازم. لازم means must. لازم ساعة تشخربانة means your watch must be broken. خربانة خربانة means broken. And ساعة تش means your watch. ساعة تش. صحيح. صحيح صحيح means right true قل لي تعرف مسلح ساعات زين قل لي means tell me do you know good watches repairer تعرف means do you know مسلح means repairer ساعات means watches and زين means good do you know good watches repairer اكو محل ساعات بالفندق اكو basically means there is or exist when you say اكو محل ساعات it basically means there is a watches store اكو محل ساعات and بالفندق means at hotel there is a watches store at hotel اكو محل ساعات بالفندق and محل means store or shop okay and some hours later ابتسام goes to the repairer and she asks, Sa'ati khrabana wa tahtaj tuslih. Sa'ati means my watch khrabana. My watch is broken. Wa tahtaj tuslih. Tahtaj, tahtaj means it needs tuslih. Tuslih means repair. It's the noun. Tuslih. It needs re repair. Il biyaa. Il biyaa. Ibi kul saroor. هذه ساعة حلوة بس قديمة. البياع basically means seller who sells his product 
بكل سرور بكل سرور من with all pleasure with all pleasure هذه ساعة this watch حلوة is beautiful حلوة means beautiful بس قديمة but old بس means but and قديمة means old the reason we used هذه not هذا because ساعة is a feminine is a feminine noun then we have to use feminine demonstrative pronouns okay هذه or هاي the both of them are feminine demonstrative pronouns okay and adjectives must be an adjective also must be feminine حلوة and قديمة and as you see حلوة and قديمة are feminine but masculine one is حلو and قديم okay نعم هذه هدية من جدي نعم هذه هدية من جدي نعم means yes هذه هدية means this is the gift هذه هدية هذه means this and هدية means gift this is the gift من جدي mean means from جدي means my grandfather جدي means my grandfather جد جد means grandfather and جدي with attached pronouns means my grandfather البياع عدنا ساعات سيصرية كلش زينة ورخيصة عدنا عدنا means we have ساعات سيصرية سويس واتشس كلش كلش means so زينة good and رخيصة and cheap so good and cheap كلش زينة ورخيصة عدنا عدنا basically means we have but if you want to say I have you have only things you have to do is that you have add attached pronouns to عد عد if you add attached pronouns to this عد you can say you have I have we have for example عد means we have but عد means I have okay but عدك means you have عدك as you know Suisseria is a proper adjective and it refers to Switzerland country. بعدين شوفن شو وقت تخلص ساعتي؟ بعدين شوفن شو وقت تخلص ساعتي؟ بعدين means later. شوفن I see them. شوفن and hen is the attached pronoun and its object. شوفن I will see them. شوكت شوكت means when when تخلص do you finish ساعتي my watch when do you finish my watch شوكت تخلص ساعتي تخلص is a present tense but the past tense of this verb is خلص خلص and it's the root with knowing this root you can conjugate them for other people as I taught you in the previous lessons بيتر الساعة ثلاثة إن شاء الله بيتر الساعة ثلاثة إن شاء الله بيتر means tomorrow الساعة ثلاثة at three o'clock ثلاثة means three and الساعة means o'clock إن شاء الله if God wills الله يخليك ندر بالك عليها God protects you take care of it ندر بالك عليها means take care of it but Allah يخليك in this context it somehow means if the them is asking him to take care of them. It's like it's like begging, okay? Her intonation of saying Allah Yahalik is like she's begging to take care of it, okay? And al biya al biya Mamnoon ala aini Mamnoon ala aini Mamnoon means thanks ala aini is the expression and it basically means sure I'll do it and so on but ala aini literally means on my eye but the common meaning of the ala aini is don't worry I'll do it or sure 
And here we have vocabulary and words of lesson. Let's check them out one by one. Sa, sa, sa basically has two different meanings. The first one is watch and clock, but the second one is hour, hour. Saat id, saat id, saat id means rest watch, but saat hayatu means clock, the clock that is hanged on a wall or attached on the wall is saat hayatu. Daqiqa, daqiqa is a minute, but daqayq, the plural one is minutes. Daqayq. Thaniya. Thaniya means a second, but thawani, the plural one is seconds. Thawani. Rubo. Rubo. Rubo means the quarter. Quarter. But thilith, thilith means one third, but in terms of clocks and watch, it basically means 20 minutes. Okay? In terms of watch and clock, it means 20 minutes. Thilith, thilith, and nus, nus, nus means half, half. Illa, illa means except, except, and qabil, qabil means before or past, qabil. Gabal sa'ah, gabal sa'ah, it means one hour ago, one hour ago, gabal sa'ah, gabal al-dhuhr. Gabl of Dhuhr. Gabl of Dhuhr means AM or before the noon. Bad. Bad means after. For example, sometimes we say Bad Murra. But this time, the meaning of the bad is different. This time it means once again Bad Murra or one more time. Bad here means one more time and marra means time but bad marra here means one more time or once again bad sa'ah bad sa'ah bad sa'ah means after one hour or one hour later one hour later bad sa'ah bad al dhuhr bad al dhuhr bad al dhuhr means pm or afternoon and dhuhr and Vuhur means noon, but if we add article to this one, for example, if we say Al-Vuhur, al it basically means in the noon or at the noon. For example, Al-Vuhur Khabarak, Al-Vuhur Khabarak, it basically means I call you at the noon, I call you at the noon. Subuh, Subuh, Subuh means morning. With adding article, as-subuh means in the morning. Asr, asr, asr means afternoon. And il-asr, il-asr means in the afternoon. Masa, masa means evening. And il-masa, il-masa means in the evening. In the evening. Liyad. Liyal. Liyal means night. Night. And Biliyal. Biliyal means at night. In previous part, we said Al Asr, Al Dhuhr, Al Masa. But for this one, we have to say Biliyal, not Illiyal. We have to say Biliyal at night. Bish. Bish. Bish actually has two different meanings it depends on your situation and context you are using for example if you are a store or shop when you ask bish sa it basically means how much does it cost or how much is that but when you are when you are in the street and you ask someone bish sa it means what time is it okay it depends on your situation Sa'ah. Sa'ah means a watch. And the plural one is Sa'at. Sa'at. Watches. Lazim. Lazim. Lazim means must or have to or necessary. For example, Lazim. Sa'atich kharbane. 
your watch must be broken or other examples لازم تروح لازم تروح you have to go or you must go or لازم اجي لازم اجي I have to come I have to come خربان خربان means broken but it's masculine adjective خربان but the feminine is خربان the first one is masculine but the second one is feminine خربان صحيح صحيح means right or true and مصلح مصلح the man is a repairer is مصلح but the woman is a repairer is مصلحة the first one is masculine and the second one is feminine مصلح and مصلحة and the تصلح is a noun it means repair e e e basically means yes and it's a synonym of the noun. For example, أنت صاحب هذا المحل. أنت صاحب هذا المحل. Are you owner of this shop? Are you owner of this shop? And you say إي نعم. إي نعم. Yes. إي نعم. Sometimes we can use both of them besides each other. إي نعم. Yes. إي نعم. محل. Mahal means store or shop and the plural of it is mahalat shops mahalat tahtaj tahtaj means needs and the pronouns that we can say this verb are anta and hiya anta and hiya anta tahtaj and hiya tahtaj anta means you need and he يتحتاج means she needs. And you is muscular and singular. أنت تحتاج. You need. But يحتاج. يحتاج means needs. But the pronouns we can use is هو. هو يحتاج. He needs. He needs. بياع. بياع means seller. But it's masculine. Bayah and the plural of it is Bayain Bayain But the feminine of the seller is Bayah Bayah and the plural and the feminine is Bayat Bayat seller Qadim Qadim means old in Qadima means old but feminine قديم and قديمة هدية 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 means gift or present but the plural one is هدية 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 means gifts it's a plural جد جد means grandfather and جدة means grandmother with attached pronouns for example Jiddi means my grandfather, Jiddi, my grandfather, and Jiddati, my grandmother. Rakhis, Rakhis. It's the masculine adjective, Rakhis means chip, and Rakhisa is the feminine adjective, Rakhisa. Okay. We're gonna discuss. So many topics, actually how to read the clock and how to count numbers and days of fake. And we are going to have Wiya and Ma. And at the end of this video, we're going to have some common expressions in Arabic. Let's get started. Okay, guys, in previous part, we have been taught actually how we can ask what time is it. In Arabic, we say, Bish al in order to respond to this question or read the clock, we have actually two ways. The first one is we say And the second way is And 
and it basically means it's one o'clock. And the second way, it's two o'clock. Or it's three o'clock. Or we say it's four o'clock. It's five o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock. And a sa'a ashara. In the second way, a sa'a bil ashara. It's ten o'clock. A sa'a dash. A sa'a dash. A sa'a bid dash. A sa'a bid dash. We can also say a sa'a bil eh dash. A sa'a bil eh dash. It's eleven o'clock. Or it's 12 o'clock. But if you want to read the clock with more details, you can use these words. For example, Rubo means quarter, Thilith means 20 minutes, and Nus means half. For example, when you say it basically means it's a quarter past five. Khamsa means five and Rubo means a quarter. It's five and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past five. It's twenty minutes past four or it's four and twenty minutes. It's half past five or five and thirty minutes. A sa'a bil khamsa winus. A sa'a bil ashara illa rubo. A sa'a bil ashara illa rubo. It's quarter to ten. It's a quarter to the ten. It's nine and thirty five minutes. A sa'a bil ashara illa rubo. Illa literally means except, but in terms of clock and time, it basically means when you say in English it's 20 to 7 or it's 50 to 7. If you want to say that 20 minutes left to 7, you can use illa. It's 20 to 7. Or it's six and thirty minutes. Sa'a bil wahde illa ashara. It's ten minutes to one. Sa'a bil wahde illa ashara. Or twelve and fifty minutes. Sa'a itlafa illa khamsa. Sa'a itlafa illa khamsa. It's five minutes to three. It's Five minutes to three, or it's two and fifty-five minutes. A sa'at lefe illa khamsa. And here we have some important points about the clock. In order to read the clock precisely, we have to use minutes. Daqayak. This is the first point that you have to know. And the second point is that. In Iranian language, Persian language, and English language, we have 24 hours clock format. But in Arabic, we don't have a 24 hour clock format. It means 
we don't have a 21 o'clock or 18 o'clock and so on okay and the third point is that in order to know whether it's a.m. or p.m. because we said that in Arabic we don't have a 24 hour clock format and then in order to know whether it's a.m. or p.m. we have to use these words after reading the clock we have to say after reading the clock subh al-dhuhr al-asr bil-liyl bil Okay guys, we said that in order to read the clock precisely, we have to use minutes, daqayak. But there are some rules in terms of daqiqa and daqayak. The rule number one is, for one minute, we have to use daqiqa. For two minutes, we have to use daqiqtin. It's muthanna, muthanna. But from three to ten, we have to use daqayak. It's crucially important. This one is so important. The 3 to 10 minutes, we have to use daqayak. But for other minutes, we use daqiqa. The minutes are more than are more than 10, we have to use daqiqa. For example, It's 1 and 1 minute. It's two and two minutes الساعه سبعه وخمس دقائق الساعه سبعه وخمس دقائق it's seven and five minutes it's seven and five minutes الساعه عشره واربع دقائق الساعه عشره واربع دقائق it's ten and four minutes الساعه أربعة وخمسة وثلاثين دقيقة الساعة أربعة وخمسة وثلاثين دقيقة It's four and thirty-five minutes As you see, because خمسة وثلاثين thirty-five is more than ten We use دقيقة, not دقائق We use دقائق just for minutes of three to ten but for other minutes, we have to use daqiqa. For example, al-sa'a, itlatha, wahdaash daqiqa. Al-sa'a, itlatha, wahdaash daqiqa. It's three and eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. As you see, I used daqiqa, not daqaiq, because eleven is more than ten. In previous part, we said that in Arabic, we don't have a 24 hour clock format then in order to know whether it's a.m. or p.m. in Arabic we have to use subh of buhur al-asir and bilil after reading the clock for example al-sa'a wahd al-dhuhr al-sa'a wahd al-dhuhr it's one o'clock at noon or lunchtime, it's one o'clock at noon. Sa'a bithintian subuh. Sa'a bithintian subuh. It's two o'clock at morning. Sa'a sabah subuh. Sa'a sabah subuh. It's seven o'clock at morning. Sa'a aishara bilayl. Sa'a aishara bilayl. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. Al-sa'a khams al-asr. Al-sa'a khams al-asr. It's 5 o'clock at afternoon. It's 5 o'clock at afternoon. Okay, guys. Now we have some numbers that we have to do some changes in order to count. If you want to count something or some people, we have to do some changes to these numbers. Numbers from 3 to 10. For example, itlatha turns into itlith. Itlatha, itlith. Arba'a, arba'a. Khamsa, khamis. Sitta, sit. Saba'a, sab'a. إثمانية إثمن تسعة تسع 
and ashara ashar. As you see, we turn them from feminine one to masculine one. As you see, arba'a, khamsa are feminine, but arba and khamis are masculine one. In order to count something or some people, we have to use these numbers. And here is two usages of these numbers. For example, the first usages of these numbers is for minutes. For example, if we want to say four minutes or ten minutes, we say arba daqayq four minutes, ashir daqayq ten minutes, and khamis daqayq five minutes. And the second usage of these numbers is for time. If you want to say how many time in Arabic, we use marra. Marra is singular and marrat is plural. Arba marat, arba marat. It means four times or khamis marat, five times. But the, for numbers that are more than ten, we have to use marra, not marat. For example, daish marra, daish marra, eleven times, not daish marat. It's wrong. Meet marra, meet marra. 100 times or 55 مره or الف مره 1000 time الف مره as you see the numbers that are more than 10 we have to use مره the singular one okay guys these numbers actually have other usages for example if you want to count cars you can say for example, you can say عشر سيارات عشر سيارات 10 cars But if you want to say 11 cars You have to say 11 سيارة 11 سيارة Not 11 سيارات It's wrong You have to use the singular one 11 سيارة 11 cars then let's do a quick recap and summarize what we went through. We understood that the numbers from 3 to 10, if the things that we are counting is more than 10, we have to use the singular one. But if the ma'adud, the things that we are counting, is between 3 and 10, from 3 to 10, we have to use the plural one. Let me give you some other examples. For example, if you want to say four girls, you have to say arba benet. But for 20 girls, we say aishreen bint. Aishreen bint. But in terms of money, for example, we say itlith, itlith denanir. Itlith denanir. Three dinar, but for twenty four dinar, we say Arba Ishreen dinar. Arba Ishreen dinar. We cannot say Arba Ishreen dinar. Okay? That's the point. This point is so important in counting. And now we have a season. We're going to learn seasons in Arabic. Fossil. Fossil. Fossil means season, but the plural one is Fossil. Fossil. Seasons. Fossil. Sine. Fossil. Sine. Seasons of year. Rabia. Rabia means spring. A slave. A slave. Summer. And Al Kharif. Al Kharif. Fall. And الشتاء, winter. الشتاء. And after seasons, we have days of fiqh. السبت. السبت. الأحد. الأحد. الثنين. الثنين. الثلاثاء. الثلاثاء. الأربعاء. الأربعاء. الخميس 
الخميس الجمعة الجمعة and the questions in relation to these days are شنو اليوم شنو اليوم what day is today شنو means what and اليوم means today شنو اليوم means what day is today شنو اليوم بالأسبوع شنو اليوم بالأسبوع what is day of the week شنو اليوم بالأسبوع اليوم يا يوم بالأسبوع day what day is of the week اليوم يا يوم بالأسبوع and here is one of the practical and useful word in Arabic ويا or معا ويا or معا it basically means with with not only we can use it with attached pronouns but also can we use it alone ويا معاي ويا or معاي the both of them are the same and it means with me وياي or وياي we can also say وياي وياك or معاك وياك معاك with you but for masculine for feminine we say وياك or معاك we can also say وياك 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 وياكم وياكم for plural, for group of people, we say وياكم or معاكم. For example, any أريد أروح وياكم. Any أريد أروح وياكم. I want to go with you. I want to go with you. ويانا. ويانا or معانا. With us. With us. هو مو ويانا. هو مو ويانا. He's not with us. In order to negate this ويانه, we used مو. مو. هو مو ويانه. He's not with us. هو معاني. هو معاني. He's with us. He is with us. As I said, we can use ويانه alone with no attached pronouns. For example, روح ويا خالد روح ويا خالد go with خالد go with خالد it's روح is imperative verb and in previous lessons we discussed imperative verb comprehensively and you know how to make imperative verb or another example إجيت ويا خالي إجيت ويا خالي I came with my uncle and in the last part of this lesson we're gonna have some common expression our first expression is تدلل تدللين and تدللون تدلل we use it for male تدللين we use it for female and تدللون is for plural and it basically means sure or whatever you say I'll do it and so on for example Aziz بلا زحمة جيب السيارة بلا زحمة جيب السيارة بلا زحمة basically means please but literally means with no disturbing or with no knowing جيب السيارة bring the car جيب means bring and a sayara means car. Bla zahma, please bring the car. And Ali, tiddillil, tiddillil. Tiddillil means sure. Whatever you say, I'll do it. Sara, dirbalich al jihal. Dirbalich al jihal. Dirbalich basically means take care. And al jihal means take care of kids take care of kids and jihad means kids and zainab tadalilin tadalilin we said that if you want to say this for female we have to say tadalilin but for male tadalil 
And the last example, Muhammadu Rida, Bala Zahma Alik, Sa'idna. Bala Zahma Alik, Sa'idna. Bala Zahma means with no disturbing or please. Please, Bala Zahma Alik, with no disturbing to you. It basically means I don't want to disturb you. Sa'idna. Sa'idna. Please help us. Sa'idna means help us. Help us. And Nasr responds to Dillilun. To Dillilun means, sure, I'll do it. Don't worry. And the last expression, which is so common expression, is Mamnoon. Mamnoon, Mamnoon, and Mamnoonin. For male, we say Mamnoon. Female, Mamnoon. And plural, we say Mamnoonin. And it basically means grateful or thankful. For example, أكون ممنون لو تجويي. أكون ممنون لو تجويي. أكون means become or I would be. أكون means I would be ممنون. I would be grateful if you come with me. لو means if and تجويي means you come with me. أكون ممنون لو تجويي. شكرا على هدية ممنونة منك. شكرا على الحدية ممنونة منك thanks شكرا من thanks على الحدية الحدية means because of gift حدية means gift ممنونة منك ممنونة means I'm grateful منك means to you I'm grateful to you or I'm grateful from you مالك ممنون منكم مالك ممنون منكم مالك is Arabic name Malik is grateful to you, or Malik is grateful from you. إحنا ممنونين من حضرتكم. إحنا ممنونين من حضرتكم. Because إحنا is plural, then we have to use ممنونين. Because إحنا is plural. إحنا ممنونين, we are grateful من حضرتكم, from you. We said that in order, in order to call someone with respect, and dignity, we can use حضرت. حضرتكم. We are grateful to you. من حضرتكم. Now we have done with this lesson. Thank you for tuning to this video. If you liked my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our future lessons. Thank you. Take care.